Hi everybody, today we'll be looking at Soulmate by Justin Timberlake and it sounds like this. What's up guys, this is Simone from Your Guitar Academy. In these Soulmate guitar lessons we'll be looking at chords and rhythm to learn the entire song. Just before we start guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see all the guitar lessons that we upload on YouTube. Okay, so let's get started saying that we are playing the acoustic guitar today in standard tuning with capo on the third fret. So we are using the capo on the third fret. So let's have a look to the chords that I was using for the main part of this song. We'll, we need to play a C, D and E minor chord, but the way we play these chords is not the uh, normal way with C, D and E minor in open strings. We'll be learning them using the three strings on top and uh, the names of these chords become basically C major 7 over G, D over A, E minor over B. Guys, don't forget that you can find all the chord diagrams for the chords that I'm going to show you now in the link in the description here below where you can find the full write-up of this lesson for free on our website. Okay, so for the C over G here, we are going to use the third, fourth and second fingers and we are going to play the third, third and second fret of the strings on top. Then we will move, we will move the same shape two frets forward, fifth, fifth, fourth, to play the D and then we will move again two frets forward to play the E minor, but this time, rather than playing 3-3-2, three, three, we will 3-4-2, sorry, we will play 3-4-1. So we will play uh, basically these three, these three frets here, okay? So they become from the fretboard 7-7-5, seven, seven, okay? So this is C, this is D, and this is E minor, right? Now, the way I count them, it's basically 1, two, three, four, for the first bar where you stay on the C. In the second bar, we are going to count in sixteenths and it's going to be one E and R, two E and R, three E and R, four E and R. So I start from D and I play D, D minor, D, down, up, down. Guys, you can find also the strumming pattern as well in the link in the description where you can find the write-up of this lesson. Now, counting in 16s extremely slow, the whole thing is going to be 1 E and R, 2 E and R, 3 E and R, 4 E and R, 1 E and R, 2 E and R, 3 E and R, 4 E and R. A real tempo, this becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, once you are comfortable with the strumming pattern moving the wrist in 16s, it's up to you if you want to add some ghost notes, if you know them, here and there, like... like before the usual strums, I, I add some ghosts here, where I hit the strings without pressing with my left hand fingers, like... Here and there, wherever you want, just to create something more groovy. Another way of playing this is without using um, a full strumming, but you just play basically a pick on the top string and then middle and ring finger here, so that you actually hit only three strings every time. Like hit this one, hit this one, like this, like one, two, three, four. Okay, if you're not familiar with thumb and fingers, uh, sorry, with pick and fingers at the same time, you can just use the thumb instead of the pick, and it becomes thumb, index, middle, like. Right? So it's completely up to you which technique to use. Now, this is the main pattern that you can play all through the song. There's going to be only one bridge, which happens to have one extra chord, which is A minus seven. Now the A minor 7 is just played with these two fingers like this. Once more, the chord diagram is in the link in the description. Uh, the way you count this um, bridge is basically playing one stroke per chord in this way. One, two, three, four, 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 repeat. So you play A minus 7 for one entire bar, four beats, and you leave it for the next two beats of the following bar. 
Then you go to D with the same shape we played already for two bits. You head then to uh, C where you play another full bar. One, two, three, four, and another full bar of D. So it's basically four bars that you repeat twice. So slowly again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now real tempo playing this twice. Okay, I suggest you to play this part with a pick, playing one strum each chord. Okay, but the main pattern was just. Alright, so fun and groovy to play, it's really, really cool. Okay guys, if this lesson helped you, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel to see all the other guitar lessons that we upload on YouTube. I hope that you liked this video, leave me a feedback in the comment sections here below. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you the next time.